Hello, Spinner94 here, and bringing you my top 10 favourite Pokemon. Um, heavily inspired by another YouTuber, FarDreamer101. I'll link his channel down in the description. He did his favourite top 10 Pokemon, and I thought, to basically, I, qu I quite like the idea of this. I'll give the list a try. His top 10 was very interesting, certainly a good good interesting insight and mostly Pokemon I wouldn't expect so check that down below in the link and of course you're here to see my top 10 favorite Pokemon so let's get this thing started with the great old number 10 so at number 10 is of course gonna be the one the only the original Bulbasaur the first of, well first Pokemon in your Pokedex not the first one designed uh, for me Bulbasaur was just the the Pokemon I first chose as a kid and of course everybody else picked bloody Charmander so every time you'd have a battle against somebody I'd get my ass kicked so when I was younger I wasn't the biggest fan of Pokemon because my Bulbasaur was getting its ass kicked by basically everything else um, but yeah Bul Bulbasaur's design always stood out with me got the everyone had a Charmander and I had to be the hipster and go for the Bulbasaur and kind of paid the price but Bulbasaur it's always had great design it appears in the anime a lot it's you know it does great in the anime you know it doesn't like Ash at first but then it evolves Sorry, it doesn't evolve, it grows to like him and stuff like that. And say, uh, just like its design, its move sets when it comes to Venusaur, you know, the sleep powder, you can run the bulky set. And of course, now finally getting the Mega Evolution when it reaches all the way to Venusaur. But for me, Bulbasaur will always be my f favourite one of the starters and the first Pokemon I ever used. So at number 9 we have Levani, the nurturing Pokemon and the reason why it's number 9, ninth of it is I just love this thing in this anime, it just you know, it's, it just, just, it's just a kind Pokemon, yeah, that's the only way I can really describe it, it, it always seems happy as out, it just gets on with it. In game it's not too great unfortunately with the terrible bug grass typing but it's just mainly in the anime for the thing, I know a lot of people like Ash's also watched from this series but for me the Levani stood out a hell of a lot more cuff to me it just shows you a little bit of kindness can of course go a long way and it just you know when it battles a shulk in the show i really wanted it to win because it was a bug type and i'm pretty sure bug resists fighting and well bug doesn't hurt fighting but i feel it should have won but hey well, you never know ash is not the best trainer as we've certainly discovered so levani as i say it does get sticky web and stuff like that in sixth gen which is nice and it, it's i'm gonna put this on a pu team event actually as i do have one trained but this was back before i knew about ivs and stuff like that so Levani on my Pokemon Black playthrough was a pretty good member of my team. Too bad it's so weak to everything. But yeah, Levani's definitely another favourite Pokemon. And today. Love its design, love it in the show. Hey, what more can you want from a Pokemon? So at number 8, we have definitely one of the more favourite electric types for me. This is definitely the one and the only, the mouse Pokemon, Raichu. Yes, not Pikachu. Um, I know Pikachu is quite a lot of people's, one of people's favourite Pokemon, because obviously it's one of the original ones and it gets a hell of a lot of time in the show. But I always like Raichu. Say the first episode I ever saw this thing was obviously the Lieutenant Surge episode as a kid, and this thing to me was completely badass. Just absolutely wrecks Pikachu, and yeah, Pikachu defeated eventually, but Pikachu gets his head caved in so bad the first time you know it made me like Raichu I mean later on you know when you got to I believe it was Diamond and Pearl you had that guy who was trying to collect a full Pikachu Pichu and Raichu collection and his Raichu was a bit of a dick but hopefully he's the only kind of Raichu that is that way so I do love its design I do love the fatter design of Raichu compared to Pikachu so basically every t I didn't know how to get a Raichu in the original game um, I thought Pikachu was like just Ash's Pokemon it was like the only thing you could get it but one of my friends told me oh you get it right at the beginning of the game and I tried to catch one but I could never find one so I ended up trading a Charizard or something along those lines one of the big evolved might have been a Gyarados I don't know it's been a few years now and I ended up getting a Raichu and I used it in my playthroughs ever since. See, if I can catch a Pikachu, I am definitely always going to evolve it into a Raichu. You don't need no Volt Tackle to be awesome, Raichu. So at number 7, we have the colour swap Pokemon, that is Kecleon. Um, yeah, Kecleon, I always liked in Mystery Dungeon, you know, welcome to the Kecleon shop. But really what made Kecleon shine for me was when I was first learning competitive and I was learning to a lot of stuff and I found a YouTuber named Vizalicify, who's known for quite a bit of controversy unfortunately, and is how to use his Kecleon video. And I just used this thing online and loaded the next and Y before I started Pokertube and it just kicks so much ass. It's great in doubles battles, it gets protein like Greninja and with Lipobe Max Attack Adamant, it hits like a goddamn truck. It just takes down everything and it's got it's got great it's got, it's got Shadow Sleep prior priority, sucker punch, fake out to be a revenge killer. And it's got Power Up Punch, that's what I like to use, and you can replace that set with Drain Punch. You can also use a specially defensive wall set because it's got 120 special defense. Give it Charge Beam and just use its Proteon defensively. Uh, you can use Proteon's ability defensively, unlike, you know, Greninja where it uses it defensively. So yeah, Ketleon is one of the few Pokemon on this list, just for its surprising use and competitive and just being a fun little Pokemon to use competitively. 
Moving on to number six, we have the Mantis Pokemon, the one, the only Scyther. So yeah, Scyther was one of my, actually my favourite Pokemon as a child, and as I grew older, I unfortunately didn't like it as much. But as I say, it is really hard to make a top ten list because you know there's a lot of cool Pokemon out there. The episode, of course, from Scyther, I remember when in the original show, when the, there's a Scyther gets kicked out of the clan and it has to come back and it has to fight, and Ash gives it the courage to fight back and all that. Say so, yeah, this Pokemon is freaking awesome because it has swords for hands. That that is literally the reason. Anything that has swords for hands is cool. This isn't Bishop and is overused to hell and unfortunately I keep losing against. <laughs> so yeah, Scyther, definitely a cool Pokemon. It's designed of just a Mantis. Mantis is a freaking weird as out in real life. You just Especially the ones in Fallout Vegas where you just step on them, but, you know, if Scyther was in Fallout New Vegas, that would be interesting, you know, having the bloody courier fight off a giant Scyther and getting his hands cut to ribbons. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Scyther is definitely a cool Pokemon, one of my favourites. Not a fan of its evolution, Scyther, though, but still, pretty cool in the show, pretty cool in the game, and you can't, hey, you can't help beat the evil, what is it, EVO like, if I can speak English today, EVO like Sword Dance sets, it works for me, and hey, I even got a sweep with it. So, yeah, pretty cool Pokemon. So, number 5 is alive, and now we're going for some serious flower power here with Viobloom. Yeah, Viobloom has always been a great Pokemon to me. I love its design, and I remember reading it in Pokemon Adventures, and it looked awesome. In the show, it's always pretty good, because it's always putting people to sleep and anybody who messes with it, and that's pretty much what it does in competitive as well. Uh, make this a defensive wall set, and it does pretty good in NU, and you can even take it on Wi-Fi and get some work with it. Wouldn't try it on Showdown, but hey, if it, anything that works on Wi-Fi, pretty cool. So, yeah, any... Anything that touches this thing usually gets put to sleep, poisoned, etc. And with the introduction of fairy type, it did get a bit of a buff because it's able to take them on now, just hit them with, with some poison. Poison grass type, grass poison type, and quite common in Gen 1, but still not the best typing, but definitely not the worst. There is worse typings out there, look at it, you, Levani. Oh, pardon me there. And basically, Viobloom's effect spell will mess you up. I say, it, it's a cute looking Pokemon. You know, it's a giant flower, but you can't love this thing anymore. And I'm starting to notice a theme, I, mean, I do like an awful lot of the Gen 1 Pokemon. So, four at your door, and we have the time travelling Pokemon, Celebi. Or oh, I'm just going to call him Celery, because that's what I've always called him, because I could never pronounce his name right as a child. Well, it doesn't, it's not a gender, covered to legendary, but meh, details, details. So, anyway, Celebi is definitely one of my po favourite Pokemon, just because I'm envious of time travel. I would love to be able to go time travelling and just do the stuff it does. I mean, it, you know, it's adorable anyway, it gets a great movie, one of my favourite Pokemon. Pokemon movies, it even appears in the Zoroark, ah, I can't remember its name, but the Zoroark one, and just, it does, you know, it does its thing in that, it nearly dies, the whole thing nearly dies in every movie, it's actually one of the few scenes I can remember crying as a child, you know, most Pokemon cried over the death of bloody Mufasa, I cried over the death of Celebi, and it didn't even die. So anyway, it's a great Pokemon, never got to use one of these competitively, I do have one, and I actually only recently got one of these, I always wanted one of these as a child, but I could never get a hold of one, and of course, I definitely wanted one of these in plushie mode someday, so yeah, definitely my favourite kind of vegetable, the celery. So, coming in bronze place, we have one of my favourite Megas, this is Mega Angron, for mainly competitive use. Mega Bayonet's always getting there, but I have a lot more luck in competitive with Mega Angron. This thing with Earthquake, Ice Punch, Stealth Rocks and Thunder Wave is just the best defensive wall I've ever used. It is such a great Pokemon, and has won me many battles and constructed one of my very favourite teams. So this is definitely one that's on there for competitive use. Plus, I love its design as well. This thing is a great armoured tank. This thing is Bazuso from the Berserker series, who dies in the first episode. And I honestly thought Bazuso was a badass until Guts comes along and cuts it down. Which is ironic, if he doesn't like Verse and Guts Pokemon. You burn something with Guts, you get hit back. Mega Angron does not like that. But he does like you take on physical hits. I mean, you know, as long as they're not fighting fire or ground. But even then, with his frit ability, he only takes three quarters of the damage instead of it being, you know, absolutely killing. So he's able to live that, and ice punching Gliscor's out is always a great thing. Thank you, Mega Angron, my Mega Bazooso. You made competitive a hell of a lot more fun. So, very close second place between two Pokemon of Mega Angron, but this one had to be the Hugs Pokemon, Wigglytuff. I know it's not known as the Hugs Pokemon, but that's what it's always been known to me. And this thing recently, especially in the episode, the newer series of X and Y, where, you know, the Wigglytuff takes on a Salamence and it's just, it's trying so hard, but just can't be a good nurse and all that. Just, and you know, it's appearance in Mystery Dungeon as the Grandmaster and all that. That's definitely sealed. This is my second favourite Pokemon. Bright, pink, fluffy, what more can you ask for? And being able to use it in competitive and doubles battles to catch people off guard with its huge ass move pool is always awesome. You can run this as a special defensive wall with Wish and stuff like that. 
That's it. I just love this design about of all the kind of medic Pokemon as I call them, you know, the healing ones you always see with Nurse Joy, you know, Odino, Chansey, etc. Wigglytuff is definitely a favourite one that gets to appear in all of them and say any Pokemon that can help you heal your life to me is incredibly useful. So yeah, I don't know if healing moves work or that work on Pokemon work on humans, but I hope they do, because I would love to have one of these goddamn things around. So yeah, definitely Wigglytuff's healing is the number second, and now we move on to number one. And for number one, well, of course, you know what it is. It's in my YouTube profile name. It is Spinda. Uh, Spinda to me has always been my favourite Pokemon ever since I was a kid. Just the, the it's crying the original games in Alpha, you know, uh, you know, Sapphire and all that. Not Alpha Sapphire, you know, Selfa, Ruby. Just it seemed so unique to me, and it, the fact it is so unique, every one of them is different because it can have so many different spot patterns. It's very unlikely you'll ever run into the same kind of these. Uh, I'm a vapid collector of. Anything Spinder, I've got a, t a custom t-shirt of it made, I've got a custom notebook of it made. If there's anything with a Spinder on, I'll buy, even if it's like a cup with every other Pokemon, it's got like the ear of a Spinder sticking out on it, I will buy the buy it. I love this Pokemon so much. Um, of course, I had to name my channel after it, because, you know, the Red Spot Pokemon, or Red Panda Spot, Red Panda Spot, I don't know, I can't even say its name at the minute, it's just, this Pokemon to me is just the perfect design for me. It just stands out so much, I was so happy when I caught a shiny one of these, and just, as I say, I was so happy when I got my custom t-shirt made of these. So this Pokemon to me, just the way it moves, the way it cr cr just the way it moves, it's crying the game, just all sorts of stuff about it, just makes it my absolute favourite, it's just, ah... It's just, you know, it's really hard to describe your favourite Pokemon, it's design, it's cry, just everything has to work to be in its favour. And for me, Spinder just falls into that category perfectly. Spinder, my little buddy, you will always be my favourite Pokemon. So yeah, thank you for watching the video guys, and feel free to like and subscribe below, believe me, it really does help, it makes these videos worth doing, and it's nice to know that, you know, you people like them. And of course, feel free to comment down below what your favourite Pokemon is, I would absolutely love to know, if you know, what's your favourite Pokemon, and of course, why. So, um, also, as I say before, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And basically, that's it, so see you later guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, something a little bit different, but hey, I enjoyed making this, and thanks to Far Dream 101 for showing how to do this. Thank you very much, and of course, this link will be down in the description. Go watch this video. Thank you very much, and see you later.